This film is about a young aspiring director. I've always wanted to direct films who's working on a shitty soap opera in, um, you know, in East Anglia. Um, and he wants to make films like Fellini and he meets two characters. Somehow, Fellini shows up in his dream and it's all okay at the end. <laughs> I think the, f the first moment of pleasure was when I got the script accepted and then I was able to actually make the film. I got the money to make the film. Everything else is kind of downhill. <laughs> <laughs> it's called The Sweet Life, and now it's called The Sweet Life with Agro. Agro Dolce Vita, which in Italian means bittersweet life, you know, bittersweet lives. So, yeah, uh, we've changed the title. Just wanted a bit more agro in the title to reflect the film, because it's not just a bittersweet tale. There's quite a lot of agro in it. I think the best experience is showing up with lots of your friends and nearest and dearest. Uh, a great cast and crew um, at the British seaside for two weeks uh, with lots of very, very good actors to shoot a movie which you'd written. Roy Hudd was a living legend. He was one of the, the last great vaudevillians, the, the last great sort of variety stars. What he, what he brought to it was a wonderful comedic lightness of touch. Eve Ferret is a, still a, a wonderful cabaret and uh, variety vaudevillian act, singer, dancer, comedian, or comedian in London. Podrick Casey uh, was the lead in the film. Very dreamy looking actor, rather Mastroani-like. And he, in a sense, was playing part of my autobiographical story about soap operas. We had Malcolm Tierney, who was a major star in, in Lovejoy for, for many, many years um, and did huge amounts of movies. And we had Mary Tam, very, very glamorous. Uh, and we had a, an, a fantastic actor born in Naples, George Marcel. And uh, George Marcel was acting in films like Hell Drivers before I was born in 1957. So we really had some fantastic stars. Brilliant casting on my part, I thought, yes. The producer said to me, he said, we're gonna have to get a police presence to get on the estuary to blow up Max. But Max was a model of the producer, the Fellini-esque cardinal in the red. And we really had TV set in the top of his head and we had to blow it up in the middle of this estuary. And the explosion caused <laughs> a lot of people in Cromer and 30 miles distance, a lot of consternation that night. That's what filmmaking's about. I think that's what Philippe went to, went to bed with every night with, with his missus, thinking, you know, what the hell have we done today? You know, I mean, how much mess have we made? Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the bittersweet life. Here's to you and Federico. Cheers. of the maestro, crazy but unique, gone, but not forgotten. Hello? John, yeah, yeah, two seconds, okay. Special, wasn't it? What? Oh, the maestro, yeah. Did you see what you wrote to me? Sorry, I really must dash, sorry. Here's the director, Marge. The director. More sauce with your breakfast? Those seaside stars? Sure, Croft. Good morning, John. Good morning, Maestro. 
how's Mr. Producer treating you? Max, just spoke on the phone, but it was fine. Belly dancer's a bit creative. How did you dream that one up? Just an idea. Short supply on this show. Showbiz at the seaside. End of the pier and end of the line. The drifters and the dreamers. The has-beens and the hopefuls. Bright lights in the shadows. And when the curtain came down, El Maestro loved them all. Our dreams are our real lives. Action. Yeah, and the belly dance is coming on. Yeah. Happy birthday, That's sweetheart. good, that's very good. Surprise! Bill? Thanks, Maestro. Il passato è bello ma triste. The past is a sad, lovely place. Movies, eh, Maestro? Those were the days. La grande madre, la prima donna che camminò sulla terra. Cut it, that was brilliant. Thank you very much, everyone. That was really great. Trish is the star. Well, things are clever, boy, then. Thanks, Trish, that was a knocker, huh? They say she writes poetry. Great. Classy lady. Okay, um... How's it going? Somebody tell me where the... Shawcroft. Kitchen scene next, sir. Six days a week. 12 scenes a day, sometimes more. It pays to make friends. Seen Trish? Trish has gone down the beach. Answer me. We were here five minutes ago with a bloody LED. Who put it over there? Oh, and the first smell. Don't you ever wonder? What? You know, who's up there? Where we're all going, what it's all about. Well, it's down here that matters, isn't it? Now. Flesh and blood. I'll fucking kill you. Nature's so sexy, isn't it? What the fuck? You can't expect the lamp of love to burn as bright now, love. Flicker from the pilot light would be nice. What? It's that bloody marijuana. It's to help you sleep. Italian stud. <laughs> oh, look. Stoned. <laughs> Just make sure your plane's not all wobbly as well tonight. Have I ever let you down? Well. Not in that department. <laughs>
Yeah. What are you doing with this? Oh, it's Richie's. Oh, I can see that. What's it doing here? Found it under Marge's knitting in the lounge. Well, he'll need it, won't he? Oh, it's all finished with, all crossed off. I'll give it to him later. You got a word with him yet? Oh, give us a chance. He's only been here five minutes. Well, it'd be a poor do if he can't fix you up with something. Things ain't that simple anymore, love. It's not the talent. It's whether your face fits. And look at mine. Bastard. My boss. I well, suppose they did boxing at your school, eh? Pity. Great sport. Teaches you confidence, self-respect, how to take the knocks and come out fighting. Question, Rich. Where does it say belly dancer in the script? I thought you said you wanted some life in the Life? You were killing him. These are my ideas. Though. Ideas. I haven't got a fucking clue. Well, why did you hire me in the first place, then? Because you're cheap, Rich. But that's all over. Because now you're sacked. Finished. Off the picture. Settle up on Friday. They call it soap. Frothing with bubbles. All nice and clean. You're a loser. Finished. Fucking finished. Fucking finished. Pity. Thank you. Rude love. You've got more to offer than the lot of them put together. To me, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. Try that when you're sober. Oh, listen, love, I'm happy now. I'm just enjoying myself while I still can. It's you I'm bothered about. Listen, invite him down later on and try a bit of the old, mm, how's your father? With <laughs> a lad, for God's sake. Well. I don't want to pester him. All the old days, the greats. Visconti, Rosalini, oh, Fellini. Even their names were wonderful. They weren't directors. They were poets. Who are you? A goddess, the great mother, the fathomless sea, our home. Are you Eve, the first woman to walk on the earth? You still amaze me. A woman must have her secrets heard. It's part of a mystery. La Dolce Vita. The sweet life. Oh, love, what's up? Uh, nothing, I'm just a bit tired, that's all. A bad day. Look, thanks, sir. Oh, just a sec. Rich! Rich! The old folks around here don't have much fun. So every Wednesday I try and do something for them. Sounds great. It's a bit of fun. Go on. For me. Thanks anyway. Tea and toast. Bacon and black pudding. Egg and bean. La Dolce Vita. The stairway to the stars. She said, I bet it's that stuck up cow of number 12. I am. <laughs> what can you do? I'm killing it, boy. I've got a fucking clue. Well, why did you hire me in the first place then? Because you're cheap, Rich. Cheap, Rich. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Surprise! Surprise! My star. A dreamer's love. It's just not working. It's not working. Line. Where have we? That's a wonderful story. This actress was acting. She was bloody acting away. Acting my little socks off. Stupid bloody bitch. Acting. Acting your knickers off. You twisted the king on back.
What sort of a job is this? Stupid bloody bitch. Go on. Somebody got somebody got a script there. Fuck off! You're charming, isn't it? Mind you, the place needs any decorating anyway. <laughs> Come on, girl, the show must go on. Very, very nice. Touch of the old foul pest there, I think, don't you? Poor old soul, she's egg-bound. There we are now. Signora, signorina, la magnifica Ruby Star! Yes, I do, but only with my teeth out. Oh, no, no, no. I was such a... 
Lost your inspiration, Maestro? We all run out of ideas occasionally. Last Musica! Three coins in the fountain, each one seeking happiness, thrown by three hopeful lovers. Which one will the fountain bless? Magic, eh? Three hearts in the fountain, each heart longing for its home. There they lie in the Roma fountain. Oh, my in the heart of home. Which one? on the earth. Just one wish will be granted. One heart will wear a valentine. Make it mine. Make it mine. Make it mine. Il passato è bello. Ma triste. The past is a sad and lovely place. This takes me back. Can I dream? <laughs> Shall we? Time to wake up, Rich. Reality. You're a bastard, Max, a pathetic little boy. I only screwed you out of pity. It's all been a joke. Real drama. Richard, my dear boy, how can I help? Have a volleyball. Come to settle up. Some fan mail for you. No Italians, Max. 
Pity. Some real killers. Wops. No good in a real scrap, are they? Mama's a little bambinos. Not big on feelings, are you? Oh, lovely view. You like to be on top, don't you? One way or another. Turn the volume up, Max. Say something interesting. All right. You're a loser. Now get lost before I do something I regret. Bravo. You already have. Sweet dreams, Max. Have one on me. <laughs> <laughs> La Dolce Vita, the sweet life. She never did say why. It's great to be back. My dream girl. The movies of the maestro. The pesta. Crazy, but unique. Where's the chips? Gone, but not forgotten. Our dreams are our real lives. Nah. Nah.